And, uh, you know, this best weekend all year at the Horse Park just has an enormous following from coast to coast. Our next into the ring after the uh, short break in front of our grand jury of Ernst Top of Germany at C, Sandy Phillips of Great Britain at M, and Andrew Benny of New Zealand at E, is Liz Halliday Sharp. Liz with Fernhill by night. Liz ranked just outside the world's top 100, has been UK based for a long time, but for the last two winters she's come and based herself in Florida. Uh, they made their debut here at uh, Kentucky last year, this combination. Unfortunately, they were fallers cross country. They've won at Breitling Park in the UK and were top 10 in the very competitive CIC three star at Hartbury in Gloucestershire. And they were runners up in the two star, the International Intermediate Division at Carolina International this spring. And Liz leading us off in this section, uh, looking for a very uh, relaxed rhythmical test. This horse has a lot of natural uh, cadence and rhythm to its trot and a lovely walk uh, pirouette that she showed us there with a, a good placement of the horse's feet. A lot of power in that lengthening that she's got. And you can see how obediently the horse came back. He showed a lot of power, a lot of reach in the length and trot and then was extremely obedient when he came back to her in the downward transition and she will receive a mark not only for the extension of the trot but also for the transitions leading into and out of the extended trot. A lot of these movements that they are asked to show in the dressage test um, do affect the way the horses go cross country. A lot of the same things that we ask a horse to do on cross country, lengthen the stride, shorten the stride, be accurate on the line. Um, the horses and riders training is focusing on all of those elements, even though they're very different uh, in terms of what they have to do in the dressage and cross country, the, the type of training is consistent throughout. Liz here with two Irish bred horses, Fernhill by Night and HHS Cooley. So there's two big uh, dealer prefixes, Fernhill and Cooley. And as we zoomed in on the walk, you could see that the horse's hind feet were clearly over tracking the prints of the front. And even as she collected the, the walk and went back to her medium walk, the horse was still showing that good over track in the stride. She'll get a, a nice mark on her walk for that. And into her half pass, the half pass is one of the lateral movements that shows that the horse is both supple in his body and obedient. Uh, the dressage work you can think of as uh, a bit like yoga. You know, the horse has to show a lot of flexibility and a lot of suppleness in his body. And uh, the lateral work, both the shoulder in and the half pass work, help demonstrate that. And a well presented change there. The horse goes from the counter counter into the flying change over the letter X. A lot of accuracy that she showed in that movement. We want the flying change to take place specifically on that letter, on that mark. A good angle on that half pass there. You can see the horse's shoulders are on the line leading the movement, and you want to see a good flexibility in the horse's body as he moves sideways into that half pass line. So not only is Liz being very accurate in the way she rides the test, but this horse has a very mature, what we call outline. When you look at the shape of his body as he rides through the test, you can see that the shoulders are higher, the head and neck are higher. We call that uh, elevation, uh, uh, lightness of the forehand. You want to see that the horse has a very uphill tendency. And this horse has a lot of strength in his hind quarter that he's able to carry that weight and show us that good uphill tendency in his frame. Beautiful flying change, very straight, very accurate. Very much on the rider's aids. That was a good start to that section. Well, Liz is on a mission here to get her first four-star completion. She'll be joining us uh, for one or two sessions over the course of the weekend as well as one of our co-commentators. Another role she's very used to, she is, in fact, she's a motor racing driver. She's driven at the Le Mans 24 hours amongst uh, other venues like Laguna Seca and Sabring. And uh, 
commentates regularly for Eurosport on motor racing as well, as being an advanced level eventer. Oh, so we're showing a beautiful extension of the canter here. You can really see the horse lengthening his strides, covering the ground, moving down the long side easily. That horse will be covering a lot of ground cross country, as you mentioned, John. Great to see an extension like that, knowing that this horse is going to be galloping and covering the ground cross country easily. She should be very pleased with that. We just see the, uh, the men in black starting to head down to support our uh, next competitor, including Eric Devan, the team coach for the uh, Kiwis, just on the right of that shot as Liz Halliday-Sharp comes up the ramp towards her FEI stewards check. We stand by for her score. Now at the moment, our leader is 43.1 penalties for Philip Dutton, Fernhill Fugitive. And here her equipment is being checked. Uh, the uh, stewards will be checking to make sure that uh, the bit. So we're just gonna get Liz's score about ready to pop up here. And Liz with the first of two rides. And oh, the score fantastic. is in just by point one of a penalty, but it is the new leader, 72, 71, 69 across the three judges. Uh, Gina liked that test too. Liz Halliday-Sharp is our leader now on 43 penalties here at Rolex Kentucky.